You moved. Yes, you moved while tapping on the phone or clicking the mouse to play the video. We move all day round. So movement is part and parcel of our life. In clinical practice, movement of the joint, its associated muscle and nerve supply is very much important. For the first prof examinee, there will be a procedural station on which he is to act in a specific movement of a joint and is to answer some question. So today our topic is on the joints of superior extremity. This is Naida San from Team Callosum BD requesting you to watch the whole video. In superior extremity, the joints are shoulder joint, elbow joint, radio ulna joint, wrist joint, metacarpophalangeal joint, and interphalangeal joint. Our first joint is shoulder joint. This is ball and socket type of synovial joint. The movements of shoulder joint are flexion, extension, adduction, abduction, medial rotation and lateral rotation. Now we are gonna see the movements from our subject. Flexion of shoulder joint, extension, flexion, extension, flexion, extension. Adduction, abduction, adduction, abduction, adduction, abduction. Okay. Now, medial rotation of shoulder joint, lateral rotation, medial rotation, lateral rotation, medial rotation. Lateral rotation. Now, circumduction of shoulder joint. Circumduction. Circumduction. Here, the prime movers or main muscles of flexion is clavicular part of pectoralis major and anterior fiber of deltoid muscle and accessory muscles are biceps brachii, coracle brachii, are posterior fiber of deltoid and latissimus dorsi and accessory muscles are teres major and long head of triceps. In adduction, prime movers are sternocostal part of pectoralis major and latissimus dorsi and the accessory muscles are teres major, coracobrachialis, short head of biceps, long head of triceps. In abduction, the prime movers are lateral fibers of deltoid and supraspinatus and accessory muscles are serratus anterior and upper and lower fiber of trapezius. In medial rotation, the prime mover is subscapularis and the accessory muscles are pectoralis major, latissimus dorsi, anterior fibers of deltoid and Teres major and in lateral rotation the prime mover is posterior fiber of deltoid and accessory muscles are infraspinatus and teres minor. Our next joint is elbow joint. The type of the joint is hinge type of synovial joint. Movements of elbow joint are flexion and extension. Now we will see the joint movement from our subject. Now 
flexion of elbow joint extension flexion extension flexion extension well we saw the movements now we will discuss on the prime movers of the movements in flexion prime movers are brachialis biceps brachii and brachioradialis in extension prime movers are triceps and enconius now we will discuss on superior and inferior radial ulnar joint type of the joint is pivot type of synovial joint movements of superior and inferior radial ulnar joint are supination and pronation now we will see the movements from our subject in the case of superior and inferior radial ulnar joint supination is pronation supination pronation supination pronation here the prime movers of supination are supinator biceps brachii and brachioradialis biceps brachii supinates the forearm while the elbow is flexed and brachioradialis supinates the pronated forearm to mid prone position in case of pronation the prime movers are pronator teres pronator quadratus and brachioradialis it pronates the supinated forearm to mid prone position our next joint is wrist joint the type of the joint is ellipsoid type of synovial joint wrist joint can show four type of movements flexion extension abduction and adduction now we will see the movements from our subject adduction of wrist joint abduction adduction abduction adduction abduction flexion of wrist joint extension flexion extension flexion extension well we saw the movements now we will see the prime movers in flexion the prime movers are flexor carpi radialis flexor carpi ulnaris and palmaris longus in extension the prime movers are extensor carpi radialis longus extensor carpi radialis brevis and extensor carpi ulnaris in abduction the muscles are flexor carpi radialis extensor carpi radialis longus extensor carpi radialis brevis and abductor pollicis longus in adduction the muscles are flexor carpi ulnaris and extensor carpi ulnaris our next joint is metacarpophalangeal joint it is ellipsoid type of synovial joint first metacarpophalangeal joint shows flexion extension abduction adduction and opposition now we will see the movements from our subject in the case of fast metacarpophalangeal joint flexion extension flexion extension flexion extension adduction abduction adduction abduction adduction abduction 
opposition again opposition again opposition so we saw flexion extension abduction adduction and opposition of first metacarpophalangeal joint in flexion the prime movers are flexor pollicis longus flexor pollicis brevis and opponens pollicis in extension the muscles are extensor pollicis longus and extensor pollicis brevis in abduction the prime movers are abductor pollicis longus and abductor pollicis brevis in adduction the prime mover is adductor pollicis and in opposition the muscle is opponens pollicis in the case of second third fourth and fifth metacarpophalangeal joint the movements are flexion extension abduction and adduction now we will see the movements from our subject in the case of second third fourth and fifth metacarpophalangeal joint the flexion extension flexion extension flexion extension abduction adduction abduction adduction abduction adduction in flexion of second third fourth fifth metacarpophalangeal joint the prime movers are lumbricals and interosseous muscle in extension of those metacarpophalangeal joint the mover is extensor digitorum and in abduction the muscles are dorsal interosseous in adduction the muscle are palmar interosseae flexion of pro proximal and distal interphalangeal joint extension flexion extension flexion extension in the case of flexion of proximal interphalangeal joint the prime mover is flexor digitorum superficialis and in the case of flexion of distal interphalangeal joint the prime movers are flexor digitorum profundus in the case of extension of proximal and distal interphalangeal joint the prime movers are lumbricals and interosseae in the end thanks to everyone for watching this video and please like and share it with your friends